So that's pretty much why I have sponge filters in each individual tank, even though it's the same body of water. Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Dramatic intro. Check. It's all about shrimps. Simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. So, all jokes aside, I was actually pretty miffed off when I found out what I thought I actually saw in the tank was what I thought it was. That's a lot of wases and thoughts. So much so, but I pretty much just rage quit out my shrimp room downstairs, had a cup of coffee and was just like, oh, I give up. So the way I actually designed these tanks, as you would have seen from my previous videos of setting the whole system up, is that even though there's four tanks here, it is actually one body of water. And the dividers are drilled through with some wire mesh in between them, which allow the water flow through, but not the shrimp. Or so I thought. Having these four tanks allows it to have a much more stable body of water, i.e. with the parameters and things. And so I'd also be able to keep similar species but prefer those parameters in these tanks. And hopefully they won't be able to crossbreed because obviously they're in separate tanks. Now, when I actually put my blue dreams in this top tank here, I did notice that one of the females was buried so she had eggs underneath her. And as of now, I haven't actually put anything in this end tank yet other than a Nerite snail to keep on top of algae. So it's just these three tanks here that I actually put something in. So that day that I rage quit, well, I was looking in this tank here because there's some biofilm building up and obviously there's no shrimp in it. So it's not being eaten away. And on the sponge filter, what did I see? A teeny weeny, incy wincy, not spider, but shrimp. Now the diameter of the holes in the mesh that I've actually siliconed in is one millimeter. Now I thought, well, that's pretty tiny. It's definitely not let the adults through. And I did kind of wonder whether it would let the babies through and evidently it does. So this isn't actually that big of a deal really when I sat back and thought about it because babies aren't of a mature age to start breeding and so when they start getting a bit bigger and I do notice them I can just whip them out and put them back in the tank that they should have been in and by that time they would have grown a bit and they won't be able to get back through so it's literally only the babies that can get through the mesh however there is a slight problem to this whole babies running back and forth between the systems and that is the crystal reds and crystal blacks now my crystal red shrimp they are actually at the moment, to this day, breeding true, so I'm only actually getting crystal red offspring off of them. However, my crystal black shrimp, well, they're popping out a crystal red every now and then. Now this is where the problem occurs. So if there's a baby crystal red shrimp from a crystal black shrimp adult, and it goes through into my crystal red shrimp system, how am I supposed to know whether it is from my crystal reds or it's from my crystal blacks. <gasps> so after another while of thinking about the whole scenario and not wanting to strip the tanks down, obviously, to sort of re in more mesh or put some tights over it or something like that, I thought, you know what? It's not the end of the world. They aren't actually pure red lines, so PRL, shrimp. They might pop out a crystal black in the future, hey ho! So what I'm actually going to do is, if a crystal red baby shrimp ends up in another tank, I'm just going to put it in the crystal red shrimp tank, even if it's from crystal blacks, and vice versa. If it's crystal black shrimp running around, then I'll just put it in the crystal black shrimp tank. Now I know this might actually mess up some of the genetics of the lines, but I'll deal with it. And to be honest, if there are any undesirable shrimps or shrimplets, so their patterns aren't as vivid or their colorations are different to what I would like them to be, then I would class them as a cull and I'll either sell them or take them to my local fish shop uh, for some store credit. Needless to say, I am a little bit beeped off with the whole situation, but you live and you learn and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes, hence why I'm sharing this with you. So if you are doing the same method, go for one 
less than one millimeter diameter uh, mesh so try and go for 0.5 millimeter holes or just don't have them as one body of water have them as individual tanks however as i previously stated i like this system because the parameters are going to be more stable than individual sort of 20 litre tanks. Also think about what shrimp you want to put in there. If you're going for pure red lines or pure black lines and they're literally going to breed that species, that variation, then do second think about putting them in a system like this just in case this happens. Moral of this story, if you mess up with something, be it in life or anything, there's always a way around it and sometimes the mistake isn't as bad as you think it is so like I'm I'm just gonna live with this it's not the end of the world I'm gonna deal with it it was just a little bit of a heads up to kind of keep you guys in the loop as what I've come across so that's the end of the video everybody and I hope you enjoyed it if you did then whack that thumbs up have you had a similar issue where shrimps have crawled through some barriers in your tanks or over the top between tanks and have you managed to overcome it did you do something to correct it let me know in the comment section down below maybe there is something I can do I just haven't thought of it i will be awesome to to hear your feedback and if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and thanks for watching I shall see you in another video see you later it's all about shrimps simply shrimps let's keep things shrimple simply shrimps do 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 yeah